Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. I'm excited to be here today with Carl Chu of Ascot Shoes. We're here in Mayfair, and we're going to be talking today uh, with Carl about uh, Voss shoes, about how they're made, you know, what makes them unique and special, and uh, just talking about shoes in general. So, Carl, hey, thank you so much for thank making you. time for us. Thank you. You know, Thanks it's exciting to, Absolutely. you know, I, I've known you for a long time. I mean, of course, I follow you on Instagram. I mean, you're certainly the most prolific uh, you know, retailer of Vash shoes easily in the world. Thank you. And um, for anyone that's not uh, familiar with Ascot Shoes, you know, their Instagram uh, is probably one of the most uh, beautiful uh, Instagram uh, pages. You. For anyone that loves shoes, you do a great job with your photography. And, uh, you know, of course, we've seen each other at like the World Championship of Shoemaking. Absolutely. Uh, but this yeah. is the first time we've had an opportunity to sit down and really chat. So, it's a pleasure. Uh, yeah. thanks for making the time. Thank you. Nice. So talk to us a little bit, I mean, you know, Carl, uh, just about kind of your background. I mean, how did you first get involved with Vass? Um, it happened, I'll say about 10, 10, 12 years ago, I went to Hungary, Budapest, and um, it was uh, a friend's uh, stag party, and uh, we had a wedding you know, follow, uh, a month later, so I needed some shoes. I've heard of Vass shoes back then, there was no... Were you in the shoe uh, business at that time, or...? Yes, yes and no, yes okay. and no. Obviously, I was a collector, so I wasn't a retailer. Okay. Or, you know, back then there was no Instagram, there was yeah. no... Um, uh, I think Styleform had just started, just started, and, and, and heard some good news, uh, something about uh, uh, Hungarian shoes. So I thought I'd pop into the shop and have a look, and. Uh, tried a pair of shoes on and, uh, and, and wow, they, they, were, they were amazing, you know, price point and uh, the construction. And this is when they just started their collaboration with uh, Roberto Ugolini. Okay. So that's, that's how they've come up with uh, some of the, the elegant uh, ULAS here, as you can see in front of us. And uh, I tried on the ULAS, tried on the KLAS. Uh, sorry, no, not, not the K-Last, tried on the F-Last. The K-Last was to come afterwards. Okay. And, uh, we could discuss more about the K-Last half uh, later on in, uh, in our conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, fit great and, uh, you know, price point was very good as well, very competitive to the, to the English uh, shoemakers. And then what really caught my attention was when I asked them, uh, how are the shoes made? And then uh, they said, oh, um, you know, where's your factory or where's your... Uh, they said, well, we don't have a factory. It's a workshop. And uh, I said, well, really? I'm, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at the shoes here. And then they told me, oh, all, uh, all our shoes are hand-lasted and hand-welted and hand, you know, it's all finished by hand. Mm -hmm. And hence the name workshop, you know, craft came in and I'm saying, are you giving me a special price on this? No, these are these are the, the normal yeah, what retail price. What is price. the retail price? So so their their retail price, you know, you're you're looking around, you know, five hundred ninety five, six hundred pound, you know, tax free on a pair of shoes. Here. So what does that work out to in dollars? Like slightly uh, dollars, less than yeah, it's a thousand. Yeah, no, less than that. Eight now, to nine hundred. You know, it's about seven hundred and fifty you now. If you, if you're looking at today's exchange rate, you know, yeah. the, the, you know, post Brexit, you yeah, know, dollar thirty five. Yeah, absolutely, you know, incredible. Uh, it's 1.3, trading at 1.28 now, yeah, the, you know, the last time I, uh, I went on. It's an exceptional value for Thank the you. quality yeah, of the absolutely. shoe. Absolutely, I totally agree as well. Um, yeah. And, you know, I think, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I mean, you really did have to travel, you know, uh, to you visit them. Absolutely, you, you know, you, you had to book a flight, you had to, there were, there were no retailers, there were no brokers, and, and even if you had, even if you landed in Budapest, it just wasn't straightforward, it seemed just to, to get into uh, the city centre, and, you know, it wasn't guaranteed that there'd be someone there that will serve you who will speak English as yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. And, um, and, you know, most of their shoes back then were, were based on the Peter Lars, which is the traditional mm -hmm. Hungarian. It's more, it has a, you know, it has a heavy triple sole, double sole as well. Uh, the toe would be high, similar to, to, to a hammer as well. Yeah. And, you know, it just wouldn't appeal to, you know, our French, Italian, and our American uh, Yeah, because, you know, I guess I first learned about uh, Vass, you know, through the book, you know, yeah. Handmade Shoes yeah. for Men. Yeah. I mean, you know, this was published, what, in the 90s, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, Absolutely. Yeah. you know, really is, you know, one of, I mean, it's really uh, the Bible for handmade shoes. I mean, everything I learned about how a pair of shoes was made, you know, I learned in this book, and of course it was... It was let, 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 let me stop. I'll, I'll, I'll say it was a Bible, it was a Holy Grail for all the... 
not just the shoemakers, but the bespoke shoemakers, you know, in England, around the world as well. We've just had uh, this version translated into Japanese. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and so it's written by, I guess, you know, Mr. Vass himself. That's right? correct, yeah, that's correct, um, yeah. So I guess, you know, I grew up, you know, you knowing about Vass, um, but, you know, they weren't shoes you could, you know, I'd ever really thought about buying because same, they same, weren't accessible. Same, same yeah, it, it, it was impossible, you know, I've, uh, I've heard about them about 15 years ago. It was all, you know, word of mouth and, you know, it was just kind of, back then there was no low, low cost flights to, to Budapest. It was just, you know, if you're catering, you know, your flights, your hotel accommodation, it would have been double the price of an English shoemaker. So why would people make, make the effort into, uh, you know, buying a pair of ads? But, but nowadays with the likes of Facebook, particularly Instagram now and uh, our website mm -hmm. and uh, you know we, we have a presence in Mayfair on Savile Row now where people would come in come in for consultation come in for fitting yep. and come in you know just sitting here like me and you talking about you know good handmade shoes craftsmanship and you know uh, the, the, yeah. and, and vast shoes itself the story yeah. yeah so someone that has the opportunity to come to London and visit you uh, you know to help me understand kind of walk me through the process of of you know being fitted for a pair of vash yeah absolutely uh, absolutely you know it's, um, all, all, it's very simple all they have to do is con contact us on instagram on uh, facebook or via email or even whatsapp now mm -hmm. let us know when they come in and it's appointment based only and uh, we're we're uh, based in Mayfair, they could come into Mayfair, you know, in a relaxed environment. We'll come in, we'll chat about, you know, their existing shoes, their size, their width fitting, and then we'll take some measurements and then we'll get them fitted into one of our existing lasts. So it either be the u last if they like something that's uh, more sleek, a bit so, chiseled here. Yeah. Yeah. So in the last, they're really choosing, you know, not just the shape and the silhouette of the shoe, but certain lasts fit certain feet better. That's why Absolutely. Vass actually has, how many lasts does Vass have? Oh, we have over, I would say, six to eight lasts. Wow. There's, it's up to 10 as well, but we're trying to discontinue a certain okay. last as well. So we so, can go up to 10. So really you can fit yeah. a pretty wide variety of Absolutely. feet shape. Absolutely, so we're talking about, you know, for someone that has a high instep, wide width, looking at about the Budapest the last, the original last that made, uh, you know, Vass, it's uh, the, tra tra uh, the traditional Hungarian uh, uh, Vass shoes. Uh, you have the Peter last as well, mm. not as not as kind of uh, chunky or bulky, but uh, still kind of uh, solid, but wider on the, in on the uh, width and also high in the instep. And then uh, recently, well, I wouldn't say recently, I would say in the last six or seven years after their collaboration with uh, Roberto Ugolini, they've come up with uh, a, uh, the U last here, which is slightly sim uh, slimmer, sleeker, and uh, has a little chisel on the toe there, as you can see. So, this is made on the U last, this pair here. We have another, so this is a pair of boots here. This is more of your classic rounded uh, toe shape here. So this is called the f -lars. And since I've been working with Vass, we've come up with the k -lars. So very similar to the, the u -lars, mm -hmm. but as you can see, there's, it's a bit narrow on the toe and just a little bit more a little bit more chisel as well. Yeah, there chisel, and then it also yeah. pitches down. Absolutely, quite a yeah. Bit so in it front. just pitches up just a little up there and goes and down. down. So that's with, with pretty straight sides. That's correct. So yeah. this is a little slightly more kind of modern, you know, fashionable yeah. shape, right? Versus kind of a traditional round or uh, anything. Yeah. Hmm. So that's that's one of our, in terms of you know from Ascot shoes point of view, that's one of our most popular lasts. Yeah. So the K last really? and the F last as well. Yeah. So then at that point, you know the customer, you know gets gets fit into, you know uh, their last, which is going to determine the general shape and silhouette of the shoe, that's and then you right. measure for size, width. Yeah, are you making it. adjustments? Are you building up the last at all if it's a so, high-end step? So, so we're, not, we're not a full bespoke uh, shoemaker. We don't make the kind of, you know, as, you know, we, like with bespoke shoemakers, they make an existing last for their customers mm -hmm. where, where they keep for, you know, the lifetime yeah. or if they need adjustments. We have an existing last already for the, uh, for the customers. So what we can do is if they like the K last, but the customer has a slightly wider width fitting, we would recommend 
may be the F Lars there or the Peter Lars, mm -hmm. but if they insist they want the K Lars, what we do is we would make an adjustment to the width as well to okay. the K Lars and so make it wider or or add a bit more kind of material here mm -hmm. for the instep if they have a high instep. So you can build it up and absolutely. kind of work the last absolutely. a little bit, but you're starting from what is essentially a turned stock last. Absolutely, yeah. that's correct, yeah. So an existing uh, shape uh, yeah. for the customer. And then once we've determined, so most importantly for, for us is the fit and absolutely. the comfort. Mm -hmm. So once they're happy with the fit and the comfort, they could come along and say, Ascot, Carl, Vass, we would like, I would like, uh, Let's have a look at this pair of shoes here. So that's how you call this in America, a, a plain cap toe here, mm -hmm. plain cap toe here. They would like this design or they would like something more of a, so this is an Oxford as well. This is also an Oxford here. So the lace yeah. ends are close mm -hmm. here. Or if someone who has a slightly high instep with more of a, uh, uh, we call this the Derby design mm -hmm. here and it's an open lace in here. What's so special about this design is uh, it's also our most popular recent design, it's called a Khan here, the Ascot Khan. So the upper is stitched in England. Okay. Uh, because none of the Hungarian crafts or none of the, the guys in Hungary or even uh, uh, anywhere in Austria could do this stitching. So the hand stitching? Yes, absolutely. So this is all hand stitched here mm -hmm. with, um, with a pig uh, bristle. And then it's sent out to Hungary to be uh, hand lasted, yeah. hand welted. So, and this has a Norwegian weld. Absolutely, yeah. So this is for yeah, uh, is, I guess water, water yeah. durability. Yes, absolutely, more durable, and uh, and it's made to order for one of our uh, Swiss clients. So yeah. a customer is essentially, you know, you go through the fitting, you know, determine the last size width, and then you know, effectively they're going to select a model, Capto Oxford or this, Carl, you know, yeah, the Derby, yeah. the Derby. Yeah. And then you are going to choose material. Absolutely, right? material. So we start off with our most popular color here, which is black. Black. Calf. Of course. Mm -hmm. And then after maybe two, three models, they may want to. So this goes with any dark, you know, suit, pinstripe. Almost navy, anything. Black, yeah. And then. Quite appropriate for Lon the London city. Absolutely. And then. Once they've gone into, you know, they've had enough of, of, of the black, black yeah. they may go into this. Some is, browns. Yeah, maybe some browns. So this is more of a cognac. Cognac, mm -hmm. beautiful cognac. museum here, very nice. So the uppers here are all sourced from our two tanneries, one in France and one in Italy. Okay. And then, uh, so that's all the same color here. So once they go into the boot option, there's a lot more we could play around with in terms of material. They could select a, a more of a scotch grain here and then change the color coordinations around the Yeah, so this toe. is kind of showing that, yeah. you know, every single piece of the shoe could al yeah. almost be chosen at a different color. That's correct, right. yeah. That's correct. Yeah. So, I mean, essentially, it's allowing for a really high degree of indivi individuality. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, lots of our clients will, you know, we tell our, our, our clients, our shoes are kind of, in terms of construction, they are bespoke-like construction, they're hand-welted. Yeah, so talk to us a little bit yeah. about the construction, because that's another point that really differentiates, you know, Vaas, you know, in that it is a hand-welted shoe, that's, and it is really fully handmade, you know, other that, that's, than, that, you know, that's stitching correct. the upper. That's correct. I, I, you know, when I first stumbled upon uh, on Vaas shoes, I, uh, I couldn't believe it myself, mm -hmm. and... Uh, Especially at that price point. Uh, absolutely. Let, let's get on to the price point there later on. So, you know, when I, I spoke to them, I said, well, are you sure these are hand welted? You know, only bespoke shoemakers that charge is £3,000 up, up would, would, would hand would weld, weld, you know, because it's such a, a tedious... Yeah, it's, it's time intensive. Time consuming. You're, you're doing, you know, per inch, you could be doing up to about 10 stitches. Mm -hmm. So we call that... Uh, uh, SPI, that yeah. stitches per inch, yeah, okay, so we, so vast shoes here per inch, we, we have about eight to about ten stitches uh, when we hand welt our, our shoes, yeah, so, yeah, and uh, th th they, they said, Carl, next time you're in Budapest, you have a bit of time, why don't you come to the, to the, to the workshop. Mm -hmm. I said, workshop? Are you sure not factory? No, workshop. It's mm -hmm. actually a craft. There were, so my next visit to Budapest, they took me to, it's a big house. It's a big house where Mr. Vash 
would live upstairs. Okay. And uh, his workers, there would be about five or six uh, workers living on uh, on one of the the middle floor here, and more in the basement where it's a lot cooler, so they could store the levers, the mm -hmm. so you know to keep the uh, the, uh, the the calf a lot more uh, soft, the, yeah, soft and moist and, and moisturised. You'd be, there'd be guys there just sitting on a bench and just hammering away. And you can see that on our Instagram page as well. We have videos, we put videos, clips of guys just lasting, stitching and, 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 and uh, hand welting the, the soles of the, yep. of the shoes. Yeah. And so that just yeah. allows for, you know, a, just more finesse. I mean, for one, you know, there's less filling in between the outsole and the insole on a hand welted shoe, which just allows a, a more agile shoe. Uh, and then, you know, what about, you know, kind of finishing the edges and the heels? I mean, again, you know, how are you guys, you know, I mean, are you doing this by hand also? Or? That, that's correct, yeah. So uh, as you can see here, that's all done by hand, yeah. So this is our, a, a good example would be our double sole here. This is our double sole and it's all tapered to a single by the mm -hmm. waist here. So that's all been, that's all been kind of tapered in with, with, uh, with no. Uh, with a knife and also finished off, smoothed off with a, 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 a piece of glass. Ah, glass. So that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have, as you can see, it's not even there. It's, you can tell that's all done yeah, by hand. Shaping. Yeah, mm -hmm. Absolutely, the shaping there. And uh, as you can see, we've got the stitches there. It doesn't show the consistency with a machine. Mm -hmm. It's purely hand stitched there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. beautiful kind of silhouette of the heel. I mean, one of the things I always like to look to to really see how well made a, a pair of shoes is, is just the attention to detail of the heel. How close is it to the upper? That's you know, correct, does it yeah. hang off? Does it does it match? You know, the shape and the lines of the shoe. And uh, you know, this is, you know, really beautiful. How does the work and the craftsmanship produce a shoe that is longer lasting, and that gets better over the years? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, how do customers come back and? You know, five with a shoe that's five, six, seven, eight, ten years old. Yeah. Even even fifteen years old as well. I, I've um, when I first bought my first pair of shoes uh, from Vash, it's now nearly twelve years old now. Um, uh, it's it's to do with you know the, the construction. It's to do with the the upper material here. We are using some of the the, the finest uh, calf, grade A calf from two of the best tanneries in Europe here, and uh, one from France, one from Italy. And when it comes to exotic skin, we, you know, we saw some of the best exotic skins from Italy as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you know, clients, client, you know, we do kind of, you know, as they say, you know, sh shoot ourselves in the foot by using some of the finest quality here, because they don't need to come back after 10, 15 years, but they do because, you know, they for see... For more shoes. Yes, yeah, for more sh <laughs> Well, for a different designer or for a boot version or something that's a, a bit more kind of bold for, you know, for, for the weekend. But, you know, they yeah, they come back, but, you know, we, we, you know, all our shoes, we supply them with the shoe trees as well and they're, hand they're handmade as well and it's made to the same shape as as you can see, the U last of the shoe mm -hmm. here. So it's the fully lasted yeah, shoe tree. Absolutely. Right? So fully lasted shoe tree and it's all included in the price as well. And in terms of you know, in terms of uh, price ratio to quality, it's yeah, you know it's if you ask, yeah, it's hard to beat in terms of, you know If not impossible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know we are technically saying, you know, these are like bespoke made shoes without the bespoke pricing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean really all this work and the craftsmanship and the hand welting you know, creates a shoe that essentially is only going to get more comfortable over time, but still is going to hold its structure and its integrity that's, in a way that allows it to last 20 or 30 years. That's correct. That's correct. You know, and it's um, it's all because it's all, all all handmade. There's no machine. It's hand lasted, hand welted. And when someone is making something by hand, mm -hmm. they are more sympathetic to the lever and to the shoes as well. Yeah. And they are, you know, it's purely by hand and, you know, our quality control is very high as well. If there's any imperfection, we would uh, reject the shoes and yeah. we'd, or we would remake the shoes for, for our uh, friends. You know, if someone's not in London and doesn't have the opportunity to come visit you personally, you know, but is interested in acquiring a pair of Bass shoes, uh, how do they reach out to you and how does that process work, you know, remotely? That's a 
very good question. That's, you know, uh, you know, because a lot of your business is, in fact, over the internet. That's correct. Yeah. So majority of our business has always been uh, online, and uh, only recently, in the last year, we've, we've had a physical presence in Mayfair, where people could come in, make an appointment. Mm -hmm and uh, talk to them about sizing, talk to them about design. Um, but uh, it, it, we started off as an online business and uh, we have a website and they could contact us through the website. Uh, we'll get back to them via email and uh, we'd ask them, you know, what shoes are you wearing at the moment? What's your sizing? You know, what brand do you wear? If they're wearing something that uh, that we're familiar with, that we've you know that we've worn or we've sold or we've had experience with, like a pair of John Lobb, a pair of Edward Green, uh, Cleverleys, Fosters, or even Barkers and Logues, we'd ask for the sizing, ask for the width, and 90% of the time we could we're confident of getting their sizing correct because mm -hmm. the vast sizing is built on uh, it's true to size, mm -hmm. it's uh, built on the existing last, and it's very similar to like a pair of John Lobb, a pair of Edward Green. The, cha the changes that we uh, would be would be the the, the construction, you know, yeah. the, the way the, the shoes are, are made. Northampton is all Goodyear welted, mm -hmm. and uh, whereas our shoes are, are hand hand brilliant, welted. brilliant yeah. hand welted. And uh, but in terms of sizing, it's uh, it's very similar. So once once we have those details there, and then we have s certain clients who maybe they have a slightly higher width for a flat foot or slightly. Uh, uh, a shorter length, we will just send them, you know, a little diagram. It's very simple, and we just ask for some simple measurements in terms of the length. Just take some measurements around the, the instep, okay. and then that would give us, I would say, ninety-five percent confidence level in making a pair of made all the shoes. Oh, wow. so, so you know, in the last, you know, we're, we're confident that. 10 pairs of MTOs that, that we make, maybe one pair would be returned in terms of sizing issues. Yeah. So that's and if it's returned, point. I mean, you guys guarantee fit, you'll remake it? Uh, absolutely, we'll remake it. And in, even if the, the one pair that gets returned, they would be resold very easily because we have some customers who cannot wait 12 weeks, 10 yeah. weeks for a pair mm -hmm. of shoes. They would say, oh, that's my size there. I'm a size UK 8 or I'm a size UK uh, US 9 or US uh, 11. I'll take that straight away, Carl. You know, I, I, can't, I can't afford to wait 12 weeks. Yeah. And after, once they receive the shoes for the first time, they place an MTO, which is great about yeah. it. And then... So is there a different pricing for MTO versus uh, your ready-to-wear stuff that is available? That's a very good question. People do ask us that. They, they would expect ready-to-wear shoes to be, say, cheaper than uh, MTO, but mm -hmm. no, absolutely not. The, the material is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. High quality the calf that we use, the construction exactly the same. Uh, it takes exactly, to, uh, I wouldn't say process, it, the, the journey would, take, would be exactly the same with an MTO, and a ready-to-wear pair of shoes that's mm -hmm. off the shelf there. You know, we don't make 20 pairs in batches. Each pair that we make are individually, you know, for a customer, for their size, for their width, mm -hmm. for their design. Like this customer here wanted a burnished toe. Mm -hmm. We have a, you know, a specialist patina guy in mm -hmm. the name of uh, PJ, mm -hmm. and he does a patina for us. Very talented guy, based in Mayfair. And, uh, and then we have another customer here, he wanted metal inserts it that's included in the price of a of a of a custom made order shoes mm -hmm. that gives it an extra you know du durability and uh, especially for people that walk a lot in the cities it's absolutely yeah it's all pavement there and it's uh, and then he also wanted an outer goish welt around here as well a norwegian so, yeah yep yeah, that's it yeah. that's correct yeah that's great so what uh, i mean generally kind of what's where are people with price point where do most people end up they, you know, we start around uh, the 600, this is the tax-free price mm -hmm. here, and... Uh, 600 pounds. 600 pounds. And that's there, export, so. you know, from the yep. UK. Yep. Does Absolutely. it ship from the UK to the customer, or just directly from Hungary? Um, if, it's if someone was in the United ma States. Major majority of time, it would be shipped from the UK, but uh, we have customers that uh, they need urgently, would we'll ship it directly from the workshop as well, so we can yeah. facilitate that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Great. Well, someone that's interested in learning more about Ascot Shoes, I mean, Instagram, of course. And, Instagram. You know, one of the things I just have to mention about Instagram is, you know, you've got so many photographs of different made-to-order shoes that it's a great place to go 
and just browse for ideas. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, and these are you know not just our photos. These are photos of our customers, of our followers. They, mm -hmm. you know, they may not have bought shoes directly from us, but they bought shoes uh, from you know from other there'll be some other retailers uh, around the world. But Vass is still very hard to get hold of. So hence, you know, I try my best to do trunk shows. So. Uh, we'll be in uh, New York, we try to do New, New York twice twice a year, well the US twice a year, uh, we go to Europe as well and then uh, hopefully we do more trips in, uh, in Asia, Japan, uh, Korea and uh, mainland China. So that's available on ascotshoes.co.uk and of course Instagram, Ascot Shoes. That's correct, yeah, and our new, uh, newsletter as well. Yeah, great. Thank hey, well Carl, thank you so much. Thank for you. spending time with me, Thank you. you know, Thank it's you. been such a privilege yeah, to, yeah. you know, finally be able to come and sit down and talk more about about Vass and Ascot Shoes. So thanks Thank for you. taking time. Yeah. Thank you very much, there. It's yeah. uh, been a pleasure. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. And of course, please visit hangerproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. And while you are there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel. <music>